ready for this? Mm-hmm. Proverbs 18.21. Pow! It's going to change your life. Here we go. Three, two, one. The tongue has the power of life and death. The tongue has the power of life and death. And those who love it will eat its fruit. The tongue has the power of life and death. That's Proverbs 18, 21. Proverbs 18, 21. The tongue has the power of life and death. The tongue has the power of life and death. And those who love it will eat its fruit. The tongue has the power of life and death. That's Proverbs 18, 21. Proverbs 18, 21. Pow! See you later. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please give it up as we welcome the magical, the mystical Mel! Hey, boys and girls, welcome. I am the mystical Mel, and I'm going to give you a fantastic magic show today. Are you ready for some magic? I can't hear you. I said, are you ready for some magic? Fantastic. Well, for my first trick, I am going to guess what number you are thinking of by pulling out that number card. Okay, let me get my cards. Are you ready? Right now, think of a number in your head between 1 and 10. Are you thinking about it? So between 1 and 10, think really hard. Okay. Boom. Is this your card number 10? Oh, no. Um, okay. All right, I'll try, I'll try again. Boom. Is this your number, number four? No. Okay, one, one, give me one last try, okay? All right, ready? Bah. Is this your card? Number three? No. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll try something else, that's all right. <clears throat> For my next trick, I am going to use some magic words to make this koala disappear. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Abracadabra! Whoa, did you see that? I said a magic word and the koala disappeared. Now, let's make it come back again. Are you ready? Three, two, one, abracadabra! Look, the koala is back. I am such a clever magician. What do you think? Isn't that a cool trick? Oh, but can I tell you something? It's just a trick. My magic words didn't really make this koala disappear. I just did some clever things with the video. There's someone who makes this video and they did something really clever and made the teddy disappear. Someone came and grabbed it out of my hand. Would you like to see how we did it? Okay, let's watch. Abracadabra! Abracadabra! You see Sprouts and Rockets? My magic words didn't really make the koala disappear because there's only one whose words held the power to make something appear and disappear out of nowhere. Do you know who that is? Hmm, that's right, God. Have you ever wondered how God created the whole world? Let's watch this video together and see. And God said, let the water under the sky be gathered to one place and let dry ground appear. And it was so. God called the dry ground land, and the gathered waters he called seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruit with seeds in it, according to their various kind. And it was so. The land produced vegetation, and God saw that it was good. And God said, 
Let there be light in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them give light to the earth. And it was so. God made two great lights, the greater light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the night. He also made the stars. Whoa. So did you figure it out, Sprouts and Rockets? How did God create the whole world? Why don't you pause the video and talk with your group to see if anyone noticed what God did to create the land and the sea and the plants and the light. And God said, that's what it says in the Bible. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. God said, let the plants grow. And the plants were created. God let, said, let there be two lights up in the sky and boom, the sun and moon were created. God's words are so powerful. They created the whole world. Whatever God says happens, no matter what. God used his words to create the whole universe. God created words to hold power which means that all words are powerful. All of our words are powerful, but do you know whose words are the most powerful of all? God's. God has said many things in the Bible. Why don't you pause this video and talk to your groups about some of the things that you know that God has said and how powerful they are. You know, Sprouts and Rockets, for me, the most powerful thing that God has said is that he loves us. He loves you and he loves me. And you know what? Those words hold the same power as the words that created the whole world. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's so cool. Why don't we pray together? Dear God, thank you for how much you love us and for the words that you speak over us. Thank you for teaching us that your words are the most powerful of all. And thank you for using those words to show us how much you love us and for creating this wonderful world we live in. Amen and praise the Lord. Check out this week's awesome craft. Click on the link below to find out how to make it.